hi and welcome to my video of my weekly dinners i count calories i've lost a lot of weight that way about 80 kilograms 176.6 pounds right now and i've been doing that for you know uh, just over a year and a half that didn't happen in a week <laughs> in case you wonder that took me a year and a half of counting calories. I am making these videos to show what I have for dinner. My breakfast and lunches are usually very simple. Breakfast is pretty much always two slices of whole grain bread and two eggs fried in a little bit of liquid margarine. And for lunches I have uh, usually through the weekdays uh, soup that I make myself, vegetable based soups, and occasionally I will have something like vegan nuggets with some pickles or uh, something like that. So those are the other meals that I eat. It's at dinners that I really sort of let loose and, um, and, and try delicious things and cook uh, really nice meals. This is one of those meals that I'm cooking. I'm looking forward to this because this is so, I've done this before, it's so delicious. It's basically a curry wrap. And um, it's, you know, a meat. This is some turkey filet that I got on Markdown. Um, that it, it used the price used to be three twenty nine, which is too much for me. But I got it for two thirty, which is perfect. That I will happily pay for for two hundred and fifty grams of turkey breast fillet. I stuffed this in the freezer because I bought this back in May. They had four packages marked down back then. I bought all four. This is the last one, so I'm using it up now. This week they had some vegetables on sale. These ready uh, cut. Uh, stir fry vegetables, um, two for two euros, so one euro per bag, which is a good price because usually these bags are almost two euros each. So I got two bags and I'm stuffing them both in the curry today. And these are all delicious vegetables. Uh, this has got mushrooms, leeks, red onions and parsley. And this has got leeks, carrot, red bell pepper, onion and courgette. All vegetables that I absolutely love and all vegetables that will go very well in a curry sauce. Um, this is the curry sauce. This is a special buy in Lidl. I buy my groceries at Lidl every week. I do grocery hauls, so you can look those up if you want. And this is a curry sauce uh, from Lidl. I've had this before. It's delicious. It's really good. It's, you know, it's got some calories, but it's okay. And uh, we'll make it work with this meal. And then the wraps, and I use tortilla wraps for this, because in the Netherlands, you can buy things like naan bread and, and really Indian, you know, uh, in sort of specialty grocery stores, I guess, because Indian food is not really big in the Netherlands. Indonesian food is big in the Netherlands. You can find all sorts of Indonesian products in the grocery store, because Indonesia used to be a colony of the Netherlands. And traditional Indian breads that you would eat normally with a curry, they're just not that readily available here. But what is available is tortilla wraps. And these are just the plain ones. Plain, it says plain tortilla wraps. Well, um, from Lidl, again, usually when I buy these, I buy whole grain wraps. I much prefer the whole grain wraps. But these were on offer. These were 35% off the plain ones with the, just a regular wheat flour. So I got them because for 35% off, I'll eat them. <laughs> you know? And they're good. I mean, they're delicious. It's just that if I would buy them without any discount or offers, I would buy the whole grain variety. Anyway, I'm just going to put all of this together, slice up, you know, the turkey filet in, in small cubes and fry everything at the sauce and then put it in a wrap and that'll be dinner. And I've had this before and it is absolutely delicious. And I'm doing this, it's still fairly early in the afternoon, but I'm making the sauce right now because I'm all sorts of nervous today. My dog, my youngest dog, who's just about eight months old, is at the vet at the moment. He's being neutered, nothing serious, just, you know, regular, <laughs> regular things that need to happen. But you do worry about your puppy, you know, of course you do. And before I would have started eating out of nervousness but now you know I'm controlling that so I just cleaned and now I'm going to make this already just to keep busy because I can pick him up in about you know three hours time I can go and get him and so until that time I'm just going to uh, keep busy and that means making this sauce already and it'll be nice because when he's back I pick him up right around four I usually eat around 5 30 six ish depending on how long it takes. But it'll be nice that I don't have to cook 
when he is back and I can just keep an eye on him and make sure he's okay. And uh, that means that I am going to cook now. I'll see you when it is done and when it's all on a plate. And here we have the finished chicken curry wraps. Absolutely delicious. I've had these before. They're absolutely wonderful. Um, all those vegetables, you saw how much uh, in vegetables I put in here. Two bags of each 400 grams, so 800 grams of uh, vegetables. Of course, I made two portions. So one for tomorrow. I'll be having the exact same thing as, as I'm having today, these wraps. Um, this is a pretty substantial meal, though. The curry sauce does have some calories in it obviously um and in total this plate with two wraps and that's um some you know how many about 125 grams of turkey fillet in there and um, i call them chicken wraps but officially they're turkey wraps of course because i made them with turkey <laughs> i usually make these with chickens but you know i had turkey this time but this plate as is with a you know all the, the turkey in it and all those vegetables and the two wraps is 734 calories and that is mostly that sauce that sauce really adds some calories but it is delicious and for dessert as always you know me by now i have chocolate covered oreos and um, those are 170 calories but i count those separately so here are my turkey curry wraps this time around but obviously you can make this with chicken breast or chicken thigh, you know, filet, whatever you like. And just some jarred curry sauce, a ton of vegetables, a couple of tortilla wraps, and you've got yourself a delicious meal that I'm going to enjoy now. I'll see you tomorrow. Hi, it is Tuesday, and this is going to be my dinner. And I did cook for two days yesterday. The turkey curry wrap was two portions but that other portion is still in the fridge and I like to mix it up um, sort of you know to, to not always eat the same thing two days in a row I don't mind doing it but when you can mix things up why not today we are using up stuff from the fridge and the freezer this is a use up day as I like to think of it these are the potatoes bravas I bought two weeks ago. This, there's one last portion in there, 200 grams. I used two portions last week, 400 grams in total. And this is the last 200 grams. So those are going in the air fryer. This is the last of the, the meat, the old meat I had in the freezer. This is a pork filet, uh, very thinly sliced. This has been in the, in the freezer for, you know, <laughs> eight or nine months, probably maybe even longer, who knows. This is the last of that. So I am using it up, thank goodness. And these are all vegetables that I have in the fridge. I'm going to make a little salad, you know, a little slaw, if you will. There's some carrots that I still have over here. These bell peppers that I got on sale, the last of the green onions. And, you know, I'm going to use like half of the cucumber or something, a third. I'll see how much it is. And it's going to be quick because the potatoes bravas will take about 10 minutes in the air fryer. The pork filet um, will take that long to fry and with a little bit of liquid margarine and, you know, cutting up the vegetables, putting it together. I'm going to make a little balsamic vinaigrette to go over it, you know, just to give it a little flavor. Uh, let's get it made, because I'm hungry. And here is the finished plate. It looks delicious. It smells delicious. It took 15 minutes to put this together, and in the meantime, I also fed my dogs. Um, I just haven't come. Here's the... <laughs> There is the result of my really, um, it's late. I was late today. I was hungry. So uh, yeah, I just quickly shoved everything in the sink and now I'm going to have dinner. This plate, as it is, with all the food, not the Oreos, never the Oreos, that's dessert. The food on the plate is 712 calories. And that is, I think, very reasonable for a huge plate of food like this. And that's, you know, I put quite a large spoon of olive oil. It's 115 calories, just the olive oil to go in the vinaigrette. So that's how you get a higher um, calorie count for a dish like this. But I had a very light lunch of vegetable soup, homemade vegetable soup. So we're okay in, the, in those calories. Of course, the Oreos are 170 calories. That's my dessert. And uh, I'm going to enjoy this now. I'll see you tomorrow. It is.
is Wednesday and I'm having a very easy meal today. Last Monday I cooked a, a big batch of turkey curry wraps basically or turkey curry and I ate that with wraps and I made a double batch and um, I'm having the second portion today. Here is the curry. It has a ton of vegetables in there, some turkey fillet, breast fillet, and uh, curry sauce. And then, of course, these are the wraps. They're just plain tortilla wraps. This is going to be a very quick meal. You know, three, four minutes for the sauce in a microwave, 30 seconds for the tortillas. And we're ready to eat. So let's get it made. And here is the finished meal. I'm serving it with some cucumber. This is because I had a cucumber that I um, started on yesterday. I sliced up about half of it for my slaw yesterday. And I don't have anything else planned this week where I can use up the cucumber. And I don't want it to go to waste. And once you've, you know, cut up a, a cucumber, it just doesn't stay fresh in the refrigerator that long, at least that's my experience. So I just seasoned it a little bit and uh, did a quick pickle, basically. And I'm having it as a side. And it barely has any calories, but it is delicious. Um, and it will be nice and refreshing with the curry. The raptor, so <laughs> it's not the most uh, pretty. Oh my God, hang on. My dog is just being really annoying right now. Sorry about that. It's not the prettiest of dinners, uh, but it is absolutely delicious. Now, the plate with the cucumber is 744 calories. The Oreos, as always, are separate, 170 calories. I have these for dessert, but I count them as a snack. Sorry, my dog was annoying again. He's wearing a cone of shame at the moment. He just got neutered, so he's banging into everything, including me. This is my dinner for tonight. I am going to enjoy it, and I will see you tomorrow. It is Thursday and I'm having a very simple meal tonight which is a good thing it's very hot today so it's wonderful that I don't have to cook and I can just heat something up I already have a pot of water ready to boil there uh, because as you probably have guessed it by now this is spaghetti sauce spaghetti sauce chicken mince is what it says that I know which one because um, I also have a recipe for spaghetti sauce with the uh, pork beef mince in it uh, it's a different calorie count so that's why I write it down I make huge batches of spaghetti sauce and this is you know home completely homemade with uh, canned tomatoes a ton of vegetables really just everything from onion and carrots and bell peppers courgette mushrooms um, leek you know just the list goes on what I put in there and then a huge pot in my crockpot multi-cooker and I divide portions and freeze them, you know, in a little baggie like that. This is exactly one portion. And then all I have to do, I have a small leftover here. These are from Lidl. These are noodles. Um, these are the, um, these were a special buy. Swedish is pizza, or I don't even know how to pronounce it, but these are really wonderful egg noodles. Um, they cook up soft but with a bit of a bite to them and they're absolutely delicious and whenever Lidl has these on special buy I always pick up a pack and this is you know the last of that pack though I still have a full one in the cupboard because like I said I love these and they're delicious with your you know homemade tomato sauce they're absolutely wonderful so uh, let's get it made and here is the finished plate all I had to do was boil the noodles and then I reheated the sauce in the microwave. Very simple. I had it defrosting uh, during the day and then just a few minutes in the microwave. And you can see the sauce does get a little watery because it is freshly made, you know, with, with fresh ingredients. But as soon as you mix everything together, it comes back together as a whole. Uh, that is just something you have with a fresh, uh, freshly homemade sauce like that, which I don't mind at all because it is worth it. Now it is a hot day, I already mentioned that, and so instead of having my Oreos that I usually have, I'm having a little ice cream for dessert. This is a mini ice cream, and this is 127 calories, so that's a very nice little dessert. I count that separately, as always, dessert is separate. But the plate, everything on the plate is 671 calories, which fits perfectly in my daily 
goals in my daily calorie allowance. So here is my dinner for today and I'm going to enjoy it. See you tomorrow. It is Friday and Friday is shawarma day. So why on earth <laughs> is all this stuff on the counter instead of shawarma? Because I'm, I'm mixing things up. I do that sometimes. Usually I have shawarma on Fridays. But this week I have fresh lettuce and this lettuce doesn't stay fresh forever. You know, these bags a few days. And I have fresh green beans in the refrigerator that I also have to use up. So I'm basically pulling ahead all these meals and eating them today and tomorrow and Sunday. And then probably on Monday I will have shawarma. Um, uh, you know, when I've used up the fresh stuff, when I've got the bobotti made with the green beans and when I've eaten the lettuce. So uh, that is uh, my plan for this week. And I do that regularly. I just, you know, <laughs> just mix things around when it comes to... I do meal plan, you know, I look at the sales. Um, I have apps on my phone for Lidl and stuff. And I look at what's on sale every week. I look what's in my fridge and freezer. I look what's in my cupboard. And I put together a meal plan. Um, but that doesn't mean that I'm really fixated, you know, on days. I sort of have a very loose... Uh, plan every week, you know, Friday shawarma day, but I have no problem just mixing that up. So this is the food for today and a good thing too because this is going to be very quick. It's very hot today. We're at 33 degrees centigrade. I don't know how much that is in Fahrenheit except it's really hot. Okay, it's tropical weather here. I just came back from walking the dogs. A very short walk because none of us wanted to. <laughs> Usually we love walking together, but in this kind of weather, none of us wants to walk. And also in this kind of weather, you don't want to, you know, stand behind the stove uh, for a very long time. Uh, so this meal is going to be super simple. Obviously, the lettuce, just open the bag. I'm going to make my own uh, salad dressing. I always do that. It's very simple. It is a tablespoon of olive oil. It is a tablespoon of balsamic vinegar. It is a teaspoon of mustard and a teaspoon of honey. Mix together, just, you know, uh, stir it around until it emulsifies and then pour it on your lettuce. And it's a delicious, you know, vinaigrette. And um, I love it. And that's basically what I use for salad dressings. I make it myself. And y y you know what's in it, you know, when... Store-bought salad dressings, it's just, it usually got a lot of sugar in there, a lot of salt, and yeah, I really prefer to just make my own, and that is my favorite salad dressing. Anyway, that is easy. The potatoes, I bought these yesterday in my little haul, the same with these uh, cheese schnitzels, are going to go in the air fryer. I'm going to do half today, half the potatoes and one uh, cheese schnitzel, and the other half is going to go back in the fridge or maybe even a freezer, and uh, I will use that up the next time. Uh, now, it's probably going to go in the fridge because I'm having this tomorrow because I have another bag of lettuce, so I will use that up tomorrow. Anyway, that is my meal. Let's get it made. And here is the finished plate. It really only took 10 minutes. I put the potatoes and the cheese snizzle together in the air fryer. It's very easy to do that. And, you know, two times five minutes, I flipped it all around uh, in between and that was all it took and make the vinaigrette takes a minute and there is my meal i'm having it with some applesauce as a condiment and for dessert instead of chocolate covered oreos which i have most of the time i'm having a nice little ice cream here like i said earlier it's tropical here today so ice cream is what is needed and these are really these are only 68 calories and it's you know it's a pretty decent sized uh ice cream i really like these and they're from little and they uh they're delicious 68 calories a wonderful little dessert the meal without the ice cream but with the applesauce is 744 calories yeah i know that's that's pretty substantial for what's on the plate because you probably think well it's mostly lettuce yeah it is but these are 280 by itself because there's cheese in there right <laughs> there's some calories there Plus, my, my uh, vinaigrette has a tablespoon of olive oil, and that alone is 115 calories, just the, the olive oil. So, yeah, and then, of course, uh, there's the potatoes and everything. Um, but, you know, 744 for me is, is a pretty good uh, dinner. I can make that work 
very easily with my calories for the day. Anyway, I'm going to enjoy it and I will see you tomorrow. It is Sunday and normally for me Sundays is junk food day as I call it. But again, we're switching things up this weekend because I have some fresh vegetables that I want to at least use up, make this, and then I can eat it throughout the week. Uh, we're making boba tea. And let me immediately put in a huge disclaimer. This is not genuine boba tea. Boba tea is a South African dish. Um, this is nothing like it. Why do I call it boba tea? Because in the Netherlands, you can buy these meal packages that have things like rice, and a marinade and a season, you know, a seasoning package in there. And one of these choices that you can get is bobotti. And it's basically this. It's basically, you know, a ground meat with rice, green beans, and um, some form of either sour cream or creme fraiche or something, and with the curry seasoning. Now, I figured out these packages are not cheap they, they can go for two euro fifty cents which is essentially just a portion of rice and some spices you know ridiculously expensive they call it bobati however <laughs> and i can very easily recreate it on my own you know just use some curry seasoning which i have right here this is just your your curry seasoning that can i can you know i'm going to use up everything in this this little bottle there's about two tablespoons probably i'll use that up um, that's why I call it bobati, but you can call it, you know, curry, uh, green beans and rice, basically. <laughs> that's what it is. Um, like I said, we're going to use a minced chicken for this. This is what I bought at little last week. We throw in some garlic because garlic is all, always delicious. Pound of green beans, um, the curry seasoning, two onions. Just, you know, onion always adds a little flavor and it adds just another few uh, bits of vegetable in it. And then here we have the uh, cream cheese. Well, it's not really cream cheese. Quark is something that sits between cream cheese and yogurt, basically. And that it is fat-free. So that is basically what it is. And I'm going to use half this because um, it's one kilogram. I'm going to use 500 grams of that to make the sauce. And then serve it over brown rice right here. My big uh, thing of brown rice. I'm going to make three portions of Bobadi. This all together makes three portions and I will eat it throughout the week. Now you can use use uh, fat-free cream cheese or you know quark or yogurt even but it will make the sauce a little watery. If you use full fat you will get a thicker sauce but the calorie difference is just so enormous because this is you know per hundred grams is 52 calories you know, which is very, very reasonable. When you look at, at real, you know, cream cheese or real um, creme fraiche or sour cream or something. I mean, they're, you know, 100 grams, I think is like 200 calories or more even. It's ridiculous. So <laughs> that's why I use this stuff. But to thicken the sauce, just add a teaspoon of cornstarch or potato starch in um, you know, in the slush, basically in a, in a teaspoon of water and make it a little slush and add it to the sauce and that will thicken it just fine. And it adds hardly any calories. Anyway, this is going to be three portions and um, I'm going to get it prepared. Oh yeah, and I plan, like I said, it's Sunday. Usually I have uh, junk food made at home on Sundays, uh, but because of the fresh green beans that I want to use up, we're uh, switching days around. So Tonight we're having bobati, tomorrow we're having shawarma, because I didn't have shawarma last Friday. Then Tuesday we're having bobati again. Wednesday we'll have my junk food, which is a schnitzel, plus um, some uh, red beets usually. And then Thursday we'll have the, the final portion of the bobati. Because once it's cooked, you know, you can keep it in the fridge over a few days, no problem. So that will uh, is basically now I've already given you spoilers <laughs> for next week for my meal uh, that I'm planning. Anyway, I'm going to cook and I'll see you when it's all on a plate. We're having a little extra clip here because I completely forgot to add the apples to, you know, the ingredients list. That's sort of an important point about Bobadi. You see, I have the chicken and the onions and the garlic there in the pan cooking away and now I'm going to chop up the apples, peel them and just cut them into little pieces and add them 
to the pot so they can cook. The green bees I'm going to clean and I'm going to steam them very lightly. Uh, so they, they don't, if I add them raw to the pot, they need to cook so long that it just, you know, everything becomes mush. So what I like to do is just steam them in the microwave for about, you know, seven, eight minutes or so. And then they're pretty much done and I can just add them to the pot and, you know, fix the sauce. But anyway, apples, important. The package that I told you about earlier, uh, the ready-made package, also had raisins to add to it. But I'm not a huge raisin fan. So I don't do the raisins, but you could do it if you like raisins. But I like the apples, so for one portion, one apple. I'm making three portions, so I'm adding three apples. And these are Yona Golds, these are a semi-sweet apple. You know, you can add whatever sort of apple you like. Anyway, I'm going to continue cooking and I'll see you again when everything is on the plate. And here is the plate. It is as is the plate without a little ice cream. The ice cream for dessert is 68 calories. The plate is 738 calories. And that, you know, it's a pretty significant portion. It's got plenty of rice, 80 grams of dry rice. And then it had a nice portion of the boboti. Now, this is with the 0% quack, which is a cross between yogurt and cream cheese, right? 0% fat, I should say, which is 52 calories per 100 gram. I actually looked up what creme fraiche or sour cream is. And the one we have here is just under 300 calories per 100 grams, which is a crazy difference. Yeah, crazy. Would this be creamier? Would this be nicer with real creme fraiche or sour cream? Yes, I'm not going to deny that. Absolutely, it would be nicer. But it would also be for this pot that I made, three portions, it would be 1,250 calories more because I, I added 500 grams of the quark. So if I added 500 grams of creme fraiche or sour cream, I would add 1,250 calories to the whole, you know, pot of food. Three portions, that's over 400 calories more. So this would go with the creme fraiche from 738 to, you know, 1,300 something calories, which is just insane okay it's insane the calories so is this perfect with the quark no it's not it's sifted a little you can see it's not perfect it's not as creamy as it could be but it's still plenty delicious and it's you know calorie wise 738 calories is something i can work with on a daily basis instead of you know 1300 something calories so that is a very real difference i mean creme fraiche and sour cream are delicious i love that stuff who doesn't but the calories are just, it, it's such a huge difference in calories, 250 calories more per 100 grams for, you know, cran fresh slash sour cream. So that is why I use something else. And this is going to be tasty enough. I'm going to enjoy this. I know I've made it before this way and it's plenty delicious. It really is. Good. Um, this was the end of the week. Yeah, I'm, I'm just thinking it's Sunday. This was the last video of the week. I hope you enjoyed the video and um, uh, push the like button if you have and please subscribe so we can see each other again because, you know, I'll keep making these videos and uh, we'll see you next week. Goodbye.